we have our semi-finals for the Smart Club uh, Championships. And uh, we'll be seeing Ceres versus Kaya, and on the other end, Green Archers versus Busagad. All the action will happen this Saturday at Rizal Memorial Stadium. So if you're, uh, if you're around, check it out because tickets are still free, which can't last much longer, really, in Philippine football. Uh, so if, you, if you're there, get down to the stadium, check out the games, uh, to watch the semi-finals for the competition. Uh, for you, Anto, um, what's your pick of the game and how do you see that one going? Mm. For both games. Um, what's your pick of the semi-finals? Okay, it's <coughs> going to be Archers over Pasar God. Mm -hmm. And then Ceres over Kai. Okay, so Ceres uh, versus Archers in the final. Uh, which semi-final should we really look out for? If fans can only make one game, which one should they go to? Kaya Ceres. Kaya Ceres. And how do you see that game going? You've already picked Ceres previously, you predicted uh, just, uh, I think it was a 1-0 win. Mm -hmm. Again, for the third time in Ceres make it. Um, why did you choose Ceres? What is it about them that um, for you will be the, the big thing or the, the good thing for Philippine football? Um, for me, the most important um, quality of Ceres is their organization. Mm -hmm. um, I like how they organize themselves, especially defensively, and they really know their strengths and they play to their strengths. Um, they have players who know their roles, and um, there's a very good uh, understanding between between the players or among the players. So I I, I think that that would be enough to to beat Kai. And so uh, if we look at the other game, we've got the Green Archers versus Basaga. The Green Archers again are in the semi-finals of a competition, uh, second time in a row for them. Uh, how do you see them faring against Basaga? Mm. In the attacking aspect, I think it's going to be, there are going to be fireworks because they're, both of them are very fast teams. Mm. They rely on, on, on speed when they attack. But I like the chances of, of archers more because also they're better organized. I think. Mm. And so this has been a, a really uh, shocking cup so far. We've seen some good surprises. We've seen uh, some very, very close games as well. As we said before, all four quarterfinals were just one nil scoreline. And has has this really shown the the improvements of Philippine football, the the competitiveness that now exists within that, whereby it's almost like of, of the top half of the teams, anyone can beat anyone okay. on their day. And it's also a function of. Uh, from these clubs getting more more money, being able to buy um, better players like Archer Scott Chiefy, mm. um, Ceres is able to get good foreign foreign players. Um, so it's and Pasargad has a lot of money also. Um, so yeah, it's it's good for the league that these clubs are getting more money and thus getting um, they're able to get more quality players. And so, uh, looking ahead to the final, um, you, you said uh, Sarah's versus the Archers. Uh, are you going to be bold enough to predict a winner between that one even? Because uh, off camera, we've already set up a bet. <laughs> so whatever Anto answers here will be his official pick and I for the bet. I have a last minute change of heart. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> when the chips are down, it's uh, the blood's gone. <laughs> and are you going with Sarah's? Uh, Tonight, I after this one, you're going with Sarah's? Um, that's it's a little <laughs> forward to be honest. Uh, I'll discuss it with Sarah after the show <laughs> if uh, if she wants to join me elsewhere. Maybe it's uh, it's getting late, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> but because <laughs> I just thought it just uh, like yeah. popped into my mind that Sarah has actually more dynamism when they attack okay. because they have a target player who can hold the ball, can lay off, can open up the wings, mm. as opposed to archers who's pretty one-dimensional when they attack. Okay. They like to dribble, they, they give those balls behind the defense. So I think if Ceres is able to adjust to that style of play mm -hmm. by, by archers, then what else would the archers do? How, how, how else would they be able to score? Unlike if archers, it, it would be more difficult for the archers to, to set up a certain kind of defense against Ceres because they're they have more options, I, I think. 
And so that's just popped into your head now as yeah, the cameras yeah, are rolling. Yeah. And we're going to the official. <laughs> okay, okay. That's interesting. I, I find it interesting, that's all. Okay, so shout out to Alvin and Nate who are away this week. Um, we're going to do an official FTW bet. So uh, Anto has changed his mind at the last minute and picked <laughs> Sarah's to win. To, dis to the dismay of right, because <laughs> I think he's going to choose Sarah's. Uh, I'm going to go with Kaya, Kaya. To, to win the, the tournament. Um, Nate and Alvin, you guys get to pick. So uh, whoever's first to reply, the, the last one gets the, the other choice between uh, Green Arches and Pasargad. The official bet is... Um, the three losers have to go on the show topless. Although you get the choice, you can either have your shirt off or you can shave your head. Uh, if, if you want at home, uh, we can do a little poll if you want as well. Just uh, tweet us which one you prefer to see. If you'd like to see us all without shirts or, or us all with shaved heads. <laughs> or it's up to, up to us guys, I guess, if we'd like to do both. Uh, so Nate, Alvin, I, I recommend that you guys do both. How about shaving our legs? Shaving legs? Yeah. That would be an interesting one. Um, would you rather have a shaved head or... Now I realize why legs? you had a last minute change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different idea if I your head. Okay, I get it. Um, we'll discuss it off camera. <laughs> uh, or you could shave everything, every hair from your body. Complete shave. I think that's too much. Too much? too much? Too much. Okay, all right. It would be a bit, a bit awkward when it's all growing back. <laughs> it is so just itchy everywhere. Uh, which brings a, a lovely image to, to wrap up on. I think but it would be nice to try having smooth, silky smooth armpits, you know. Armpits? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice okay. to try that. Alright, uh, well we can add that in. Okay, so we've got the choice. Alvin, May, uh, we, we've got the choice. We can either do it the episodes, an entire shoot with our shirts off, we can shave our head, or we can shave our legs. Um, armpits optional. <laughs> Uh, but uh, given that Anto got the, the first pick, I think he's looking a bit happy about this now. <laughs> uh, just to clarify why also, uh, the shirt off he's not so bothered about because he wants to show off his new abs. <laughs> new abs? They're not new. They're, sorry, sorry. Okay, not new abs. He's, uh, yeah. he's, he's beautiful, gorgeous abs, which I wish he would flash and give us all the showing right now. Uh, can you do that for us, Anto? Um, a little a bottle sneak of feet. beer first, man. A bottle of beer, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, there's one more episode to come after this. We'll be discussing more <laughs> with uh, Anto about Pachanga. And so in the break, hopefully, we'll be able to get some beer. Until then, <laughs> I follow us, watch the, the semi-finals. Uh, we'll give you all the updates. Uh, we'll tell you what's happening as it's happening during those games at, at FTW Sports. <laughs>